What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to Our Denial. Now this game just popped up today on Game Jolt, and it's an RPG game, as you guys can probably tell just from the main menu, or if you happen to see this game on Game Jolt. Now, the gist of this game is, as I assume from the actual, like, story write-up for it, is you play as this guy right here. Don't remember his name, if it was even said in the actual story, um, but basically he lost his wife, which I'm guessing it's the lady over here on the left. And apparently you are just reminiscing and going through the house and whatnot, or, or wherever you actually are, because I want the game to actually tell me more about it. I kind of skimmed through the little summary for the game itself, but I want the game to tell me about it. Plus, I haven't played an RPG game like this in a, quite a while, actually. I wanted to check it out. It looks cool. It's got, supposed to have a pretty cool story to it. Um, it's got a decent rating so far, especially for an RPG game that just came out today. And uh, it's roughly supposed to be an hour to three hours long, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to break it up into a couple parts, just because I, I don't want to sit here and record for another hour long. Um, plus, it's a, a long-ass episode like that, I guarantee isn't probably entertaining. So, anyway, let's check the game out. I want to see what it's about. It looks like it's supposed to be kind of cool, so let's see what it's doing. Plus, I like the fact that there are there's different endings to the game itself and all of them are based off of kind of how you interact with the world as you go through i think there's five endings it said to the game one of them is obviously going to be harder but you have to pay attention very closely to the story so I'm, i don't it's supposed to be a puzzle game as well so it's going to have puzzles to it so for game show script cool uh explanation explanation those solutions are pointed out on the maps, a mode for people with not a lot of time or want to just enjoy the story. It will be greatly reduced playtime of the game. You will be given a hint upon entering the room that is part... Okay, so no hints. I'm just, I'm just going to go easy because I would prefer to play this game on easy because I just want to enjoy the story. I'm not in it for the actual like hardship of it. Uh, touch to move and examine. Uh, double tap to run in certain areas. Two fingers to open the door. Wait, what? Oh, keyboard. Movement, X to open menu... Z to examine, C to cancel. Okay. Don't know what was wrong with E, but okay. I've called you three times. You had me so worried that I left the grocery store with only half of what I needed. Oh, sorry, Tina. This project has me so tied up. My deadline is next week, after all. Sweetie, you work too hard. You barely have any... You will never be happy, will you? I left my last job because of the hours away. Now here I am, always home, and you still give me this crap? It's not like that. I just worry about you not enjoying life and the time we have together. Whatever. Now I really need to get back to work. Could you please help me with the groceries? Honey, I'll probably be working all damn night. You should be fine on your own. Sorry, ass. Just get back to your work. You are so stubborn, but I love you more than anything. Dude, don't be such a dick. Also, nice Mac computer that he's got. Why is he such an asshole? Maybe I should have helped, but this has to be done. Ugh, I swear it is always something with this woman. You'll be faced with choices. These choices will just dictate the ending. Not only that, but passive choices will further... Okay. Um, I'm gonna help. I wanna... I'm a nice guy. I would help. Damn it. It will put me behind, but she does need the help. It's cool. So this is a pretty... I mean, honestly, the game is pretty well designed. It's got some pretty iconic things that you can see. Like, that's definitely an iMac, which is those big Mac uh, computers. Hopefully I won't be sued for that. Um... But it's a pretty game, honestly. It's got nice music. Your actions while playing will help you put on a certain ending path. Going through straight out the door will push you to a path, while exploring the apartment will be another path. There are many things that can be examined in this room upon further examination. It will put you more towards one ending to keep in mind what you look at. Huh. Okay, so I can actually examine pretty much anything. Oh, shit. Kind of a cool menu, too. Uh, whoop. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Why did not? Uh, do I have any items? Nope. I got a photo of Tina. Last photo of Tina looking at it helps to accept the fact that she is gone. I miss you so much. Why did... Okay, that's kind of funny that you can actually look at her... Te oh, man, that sucks. You can actually look at... Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. What was it, C? I think it was C to examine stuff, wasn't it? Huh, so I saved. I wonder what'll change if I just explore and check stuff out. X is to open the menu. Huh, okay. It doesn't look like I can really examine anything. There's nothing else. Whoa, why is there like an invisible barrier right there? Huh, okay. I like the music and everything. It's pretty cool. And your character actually has some decent textures and everything to him. Just looking at him. Huh, it doesn't look like there's actually anything that I can interact with or do. TV plays a familiar show. Check it out. No. God, no. We gotta go outside. Do I need to do anything on my computer, maybe? 
That's the first thing I was actually... Nope, I guess not. Alright, well, I guess I'm going straight out. There wasn't anything that I could examine. I was hitting the button on pretty much everything. Oh, shit. Tina? Tina! No. No, why is... Why is no one around? How could I? Tina! The streets were clear of any car or person. She lay there, dying and completely alone. Richard rushed her to the hospital, but it was far too late. The doctor tried telling him the cause of death, but all he could think about was her dying alone in the cold street. He grew numb to the world around him, and all feeling had fled him had fled him over the years. Guilt and denial began to eat away at him. Seven years later. That's really sad. Don't forget your tie, sweetie. I really need a drink. Ever since Steven got me to move, I've been seeing her. There should still be some beer left in the fridge. Oh, that's really sad, man. I knew that. I know what the. Oh shit! I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh fuck! No! no oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, come on. There we go. Let's go back. Sorry, I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, I got a safe. I don't know what my code is. Huh? Closet for clothes. Open it. Sure. It's full of my clothes and a few of Tina's dresses that I can't come to throwing away. I mean, there's a point where you've gotta, you know, kind of accept it and. I mean, it's as horrible and as terrible as it is, there comes a point where you do have to move on, unfortunately. As sad as it is, especially when it's someone that you love to hold dear to yourself, like his wife. That's really sad that she passed away like that, alone dying in the streets. And it wasn't like I, I mean, I wonder what if would anything have changed if I had just gone right outside? I don't know, but I've already made the decision to walk around the apartment, even though there was nothing to examine except the TV. So, that's what's kind of funny. The music is pretty dramatic right now, too. Oh, God. No, 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 it is negative. He's going to hate me so much. I just want to give him a child so bad. Maybe that will help him happier, be happier, and help him happier in this life. Ever since we got married, he has become more and more sad. I just want to see him smile again. <laughs> Aww. She always looked so heartbroken when we tried for a child. Maybe there was more to it than I thought. Yeah, if you weren't such a dick to her. Yeah, I understand you want to focus on your work, but dude, don't be such an asshole. I can't stand that. It's one of the things I hate about watching some animes. They'll have stuff like that where your character is just a dick for no reason and it irritates the fuck out of me. Like, whenever I play a game or anything like that, always a nice guy. From his last shot, take a closer look. Sure. The same game that was in the break room of my old job. Many lunch breaks were wasted on this. Huh, okay. So now, so this is my computer. It looks like I downgraded. Either that or I, I got a PC, maybe? I don't know. I went from an iMac to whatever that's supposed to be. Is there anything else that I can interact with? I know I gotta go to the fridge. Hmm. There's some beer left. I still have that half bottle of gin, too. Then again, it's a bit early for a drink. Drink nothing. On second thought, I should get to work. I get I should get to work sober, at least. My computer is in the back room. Which I actually just walked past anyway, so... This is a pretty cool house. It's a nice house. It's weird how the dining room is like this far away from the from the actual kitchen. But then again, I don't know. That's just... What the hell was that? Hello? Hey, Richard. How you doing today? Hey, Steven. I'm doing about as good as any other day. Listen, I saw her again this morning. You still miss her, man. This is perfectly normal. No, not this. It really feels like she is right there. She can sp She can even speak, but I can only make out so much of it. Just relax. Everyone goes through their own grief. How about this? You come over and we will check out some new movies. I've got a lot of work to do. How about later tonight? Sure thing, man. I'll have Becky pick up something good to eat. Thanks, Steven. See you later. Thanks for coming by, man. I found a few movies you might like. Awesome. Please tell me you picked up a new superhero movie. Good morning, sweetie. Guess what I just got us to watch tonight? Oh, I thought you loved these movies. Sorry, next time I'll get a better one. Richard? Hello, everything okay? Yeah, it's nothing. Say, when will Becky get here? She should be on her way. She should be on her way up. Steven, how good to see you. I hope you like Ty. Uh, nice answer. Ty's pretty good, but I'm not a big fan of the spicy dishes. Great, Steven mentioned you did not like spicy food, so I got one meal, not spicy. Thanks. Let's eat and have the let's have ugh. let's eat and let the fun begin. They sat down to eat and the wa and watch the movies. Each of them looked like they were enjoying themselves. Even Richard was able to forget about thing about thing if only for a bit. 
Fortunately, there's some little grammatical errors and everything, but not too big of a deal. I could still make out what it's going with. After a while, he headed back home. My old job. I ran the packing machine. I do miss it sometimes. So, wow, you work here? This place is huge. Baby, you spend all your time here. Let's take a vacation. Uh, dismissive. That sounds like the nicer answer. You aren't there. My mind is just dealing with denial. Please, give me a break is all I ask. I truly did love you. Was that not enough? This can't be real. Why now? You will never forget me. I will have you once more. Eek! What the fuck? What the hell? Stay out of this. I will take her away. No more pain. She will be mine forever. What the fuck is it? No, stop this. I got to... I'm going in. He could barely comprehend what he saw. These were more than visions. Maybe his mind was finding a new way of coping. All he knew was Tina needed him. During the game, you will face puzzles, and the answer to those will not be handed to you. You must explore and figure them out. Great! Awesome! <laughs> I'm so good with puzzles. You guys know that by now. So it's a pretty cool story. I, I mean, it's depressing as hell. Don't get me wrong, but I still think it's a nice story. Why is that on fire? A fire? Why did the sprinklers not kick in? There should be an override in the main office, but that is usually locked. Okay, so I gotta get to the main office, which I don't know where the main office is and what- Oh, I actually do have a light, okay? The only thing on the board is the number three. Huh, okay. Maybe a game cabinet, look closer. Me and Steven would spend our entire break playing these machines. Huh, okay, so I wonder if that's what it meant by that. Maybe I have to look into saving those numbers in order to unlock the safe to get like the true ending or something like that. So I'm gonna type that. I think three might be the correct first number. Okay, hi. Okay, you're coming towards me. And you're annoying. What the hell kind of noise are you making? Uh, okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Alright, uh, I'm gonna... What? Get away! Okay, so when it got closer to me, that's it? It didn't, it just tele... It just teleported me back here? Okay, maybe it's just because I'm playing on easy? I don't know what that guy's supposed to do. Huh. So there's a security camera up there. Out of the place... Out of place wiring for some s sort of wireless device. Check further. It must have updated the wiring after I left. Oh, that's it? That's all you got to say? Alright. Oh, there's steps up here. Alright, I thought that was, a, that was a bookshelf or something. Oh, okay, so I'm just above the place. Whoa, the camera's trippy as hell. I always felt sorry for the guys that had to work on this thing. One little slip and it could be over for them. True, absolutely true. I'm not a big fan of heights. I wonder if that's the office. Like, I, I more like I like heights. I, I mean, not heights, but I like the, the views and everything that heights have. But I can't stand, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't stand, like, the fear of falling. That's my big thing. Oh, wow, I've actually taken damage. Pile of trash, but one thing sticks out. Pick it up. What is the head office key doing in a pile of trash? So I've got that. Oh, that must be the hint thing. It's talking about the glowing... Who put this bit of paper here? Eight was all that was left. Two went right to heaven. Four wept as they ascended up the mountain. Eight was all that was left. Eight, two, four, maybe? I don't know. I'm just trying to remember some of these numbers. Huh, okay. The work closet used quite... Wow, used quite often by Richard. It brings back fond memories. A storage closet, we would always play some pranks with it. One year, Steven put a skeleton in it and scared the new guy. Oh, okay, the thing's here. What the hell even is that? That noise that it makes is terrifying. Where is it? Okay, you're over there, so I can actually just walk around you. You're actually not too difficult. Then again, I'm playing on the easiest difficulty, so don't really understand why it would be too, too difficult. Alright, this is the main office. And I gotta figure out... How did I even get in here, by the way? I should take care of the sprinklers. Cool, so the sprinklers are on. How did I even get in here? What a strange magazine clip. Who would cut this out and just leave it here? The fly flew... Okay, the five flew to the east. The ninth... They arrived right away when they met. Okay. Nine. Up in the night sky, they looked at the sixth. Okay, so I've got eight, two, four, five, nine, six. So obviously there's gonna be some code somewhere that I'm gonna need. Or something. I have no idea. 
I really don't know what's actually going on in general. Like, obviously, I I'm here to see what the hell is going on with Tina. Oh, there's a locker open. Is there anything else? Steven's locker. But something is out of place. Steven's locker's open. Was he here earlier? He had the day off. Strange. Okay, how did I get... A bottle of pain medicine may come in handy. Why? What? How did I get in here? By the way, how? Like, where is everybody? How does I? How did I get in here? I don't work here anymore. So how is it that I was able to get into this place without anybody noticing? You? What the hell are you? My my my! Why do you act so angry? You created me after all. I am your denial, your anger, your doubt. My purpose is to rid you of everything. Where's Tina? Or why am I still seeing her? You never could get past your denial of not only her to be gone out of n wait what you never could get past your denial of not only her to be gone but of how you treated her you hid behind your excuse your excuse i think it's supposed to say excuse of thinking of her without asking her what she really wanted you to do she put you she wow god i can't read today she put up with you wow she put up with a lot don't worry your memories of her will be no Wait, God, okay, some of the writing's messed up, so I'm trying- my mind is trying to fill in the blanks while I'm trying to read this, so I'm sorry. She put up with a lot. Don't worry, your mo your memories of her will be no more. Then you can wallow in your self-pity. I don't want to lose those memories. If you're a product of me, then you can be unmade by me. Good luck with that. Ha ha ha. Now, if you will ex excuse me, Tina awaits. Enjoy your maze of doubt that it lays before you. Oh. Well, shit, now what do I do? Wait, what? How am I supposed to figure this out? Is this supposed to be... Okay, so that brought me back there. So... Hmm... Maybe... Maybe it's the actual puzzle that I was, I was reading before. Maybe those have... There wasn't one in here, right? No, there wasn't. It was all up in this office. Or there was one in this office. Okay. So that was where I got the trash. What was this one? Who put this bit of paper? Okay, so... Uh, Alright, and then... Nope, that's already... I, oh, come on. There we go. And this one is... Five flew to the east. Oh, come on! There was another room? I didn't know! Papers, everything... Okay, so right in the first night, north they march in the light of the third. And on the seventh, they, nothing left. God damn, that took forever. I didn't even notice. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, so I didn't even notice there was another door down there. I thought it was just part of the shelving, because that's the door. The door right there is where I came in. So that took forever for me to find. But I've got the code, I, I think. I hope I do, at least. So I guess this room doesn't count as the first room. So it goes right. Takes forever, right. And then up. And then up. Right. Wait, what? Up. Uh, left, 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 right? Yes! Finally! Oh my god, it took forever! Okay, so basically all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you where I found each of those three things, and then I'm just gonna start the puzzle there. God, that took way longer than it needed to. How did you- Bah, fine, if you wish for release so soon, I'll grant it, fall into the endless despair! An overwhelming sense of dread washes over Richard. The only thing he thought was to run. RUN! Okay. Uh. Uh. God. Those things make the fucking... Ugh. Tina? Did that thing hurt you? Richard. Oh, how I miss you. But our paths are no longer together. Please, just answer me, baby. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could go back to the beginning and start all over again. It pains me to stay here any longer. Goodbye, Richard. I'm going to... Go I'm going to where it started. Maybe there I can find peace. She really is just part of my imagination, but I must hold on to it. That thing cannot take this away, no matter what. Richard left what looked like his old apartment. Oddly enough, it led back to his old workplace. How was all this happening? Was he losing his mind? Is there more at play here? These questions ate away at him as he traveled back home. I should call Stephen, but 
he would think I was crazy. I would call him. Maybe he will listen to this crazy tale. I mean, friends are always a good... Uh, what? What? Our reception is never this bad. Hello? Steven, can you hear me? Be... be good. Damn it! What the hell was that? Uh... Hmm. Oh, well, I actually didn't mean to do that. There's some knives in the kitchen. I'll be damned if I let that thing get the upper hand. That's probably not the best thing. Bring it on, you monster. Take this! Steven! B Becky! What is wrong with you? You nearly cut me! I'm so sorry. Someone was following me on my way back home. Thought he might have broken in. Oh dear, should I call the cops? No, it's fine. I'm so sorry about this, Becky. No harm done. You were just afraid. Here, Steven told me to pick up a few things for you on my way back. Thanks. I don't know what I would do without you two. There's nothing, Richard. You know me. You know, we are always here for you. They sat and talked for a while before she went back home. He tried to sleep, but not but something kept him awake. The thought of what Tina said. Where it all be where it all began. It then hit him. Could she mean their high school? Where they first met? The next morning he decided to go to his old high school. Here it is. It was scheduled for de demolition a while back, but something happened. Now it just sits here. Remember when we first met? You stared at me as you walked by and ran right into that open locket door. Locked door. Sorry, it was just too funny and cute. I'd give anything to relive that moment. She would always bug me with it, and I snapped at her a few times for it. She must have held that memory dear to her. Here's hoping there are some answers left in here. Alright, so this is a good place to stop. Also, I don't know if I showed it, but the, the pills that I found in that other room I used, and it gave me back 50 of my health. So, this is a good place to stop in part one. I actually am enjoying this game. I... The story is sad, don't get me wrong, but it's pretty good. The writing's pretty good. I like the atmosphere, and the music is pretty cool. It's got spooky music that goes with the game, and, like, literally all the designs and everything for the characters all look pretty good for an RPG-style game. So, anyway, I will pick this game up either tomorrow at, or at another day this week. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this game so far. If you guys want to check this game out for yourself, there will be a link to the game in the description below. And that's all the time I got for you today, guys. So, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to check out some of the other videos that I've done, and I will see you guys next time. Maniacs out. But, yeah, there's Goblin, there's Ogre, there's Human, and there's Nightbreed, which is what I'm at right now. Uh, can I fight you, or are you going to attack me? Nope. You are gonna attack me. Attacks! Oh, I wonder who turned on this music box. What? It's winding by itself.